Welcome back to the channel guys. So on today's video, we're going to be showing you how to go from carrying a Pelican case around like this with a bungee cord, making it super hard to use, to this using the factory link quick connect system and the Whiteout Technologies mounting bracket. So stick around and we'll get right to it. So what I ended up picking up is this bracket here. This is from a company called Whiteout Technologies. I ended up finding them on a forum for like ski do sleds and whatnot. And they actually sell quite a few really cool products that really make being able to pack stuff around on these sleds a lot easier. All right, so just right out of the box, this is uh, pretty cool. This was a option to get this plate, which is pretty lightweight aluminum. I mean, it really doesn't weigh hardly anything at all. You got these little stoppers on the bottom that are going to kind of, they look like, uh, they're not quite adjustable, but they're going to rest on the tunnel basically and keep it from rattling around when you've got the link levers here on the side that'll go into those loops. So when I saw that they had options, I think it was black, white, and then the manta green, which is my favorite color. It goes with the rest of the sled. So pretty excited about that. So when I saw that option, I was like, wow, this is really cool. And just the I don't think it's powder coat, but whatever it is, it's a very nice finish. Like I said, very lightweight, all kinds of holes on there. So you can mount it pretty much however you need. And then it also comes with four Allen head screws and washers, and then also the lock nuts. So that'll be exactly what we need to go through my drone case right here and mount to that. Now, one thing additional I am going to do is just because it's pretty important to me to keep this case absolutely watertight because my four-wheeler also has link mounts and so does my side-by-side. -side. So this can be carried around and I can throw it on the back there. That's a huge thing for the four-wheeler because I was having to do the same thing, kind of bungee corded on there. It was super awkward, didn't work at all. So I'm gonna be able to use this on all my stuff, but in the summertime especially, there's gonna be a lot more, especially on that four-wheeler, a lot more opportunities for water intrusion. So I'll be putting a little bit of silicone around the bolts on the inside of the case. So first things first, I'm just trying to kind of see where this is going to need to sit. So I'm gonna have to use, it's not gonna be perfectly in the center because this right here is going to hit up against that case. So it's gonna to have to get moved to kind of these, this, these two holes here. So that'll fit right in there. We'll go ahead and get that bolted in and then we'll move toward pulling everything out of the case and marking it for drilling holes. So now that we have the fasteners mounted on here, I went ahead and kind of measured, got this all centered up on the bottom of my case. And then we're going to drill here, 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 and here, and go ahead and bolt that up, silicone it, and it'll be all attached and ready to go. So I have all the bolts in and tightened. As you can kind of see, I got RTV on all the bolts. It's not probably the prettiest thing that I could have done, but it'll work and it'll keep all the water out. Something I think I said was that the bolts were included for mounting the case to this bracket. However, that is not the case. The bolts were for mounting these link connectors to the bracket instead. So I ended up having, of course, some leftover bolts that I have laying around the shop. So I ended up using that in there. And then, yeah, just of course the RTV, silicone, whatever you want to use over the top, but just something to make sure and keep this watertight. So yeah, there it is guys, the full install on this Whiteout Technologies bracket for your Pelican case or whatever else you wanna to mount to it. So I know it's something pretty small, but I really feel like it's gonna help me out a lot when I'm out riding on all of my machines, just being able to pack my drone around a lot better. Obviously I'll have it linked in the description for you guys, as well as the link connectors and the brackets that I used on my sled. If you guys have any questions about anything I didn't cover in this process, or if you got any tips and tricks for anybody else, as always, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.